Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another experiment planned with this blue dyed laser, and that is to engrave some glass. This is not as easy as it sounds, since the laser light doesn't get absorbed by the glass directly, it will just shine right through it. So that means we have to find a way to somehow block the laser light so that we can melt the glass and engrave it. And one way to achieve this is to apply some sort of lacquer. Here we have several options. Uh, I have for one this bottle of tempura paint, also known as like children's paint. It's water soluble, non-toxic and is therefore easy to remove after the engraving. You don't want to use like normal acrylic paint because you can't get it off afterwards. And this has a bit of an issue with application. For one, it's I haven't found this in a spray container. I only have found it in these bottles. So you can't easily apply it evenly. You would need an airbrush or something like that, but I don't have it right now, but I'm going to show you how to apply it more or less evenly either without these tools. And there is also another problem and that is paint adhesion. So on smaller parts, uh, this wasn't an issue for me in testing. However, on larger parts, it can cause some problems where the uh, yeah, laser shines right through it after the paint is cracked. So, because mainly because of that reason, I have the second option right here, which is a bottle of layout dye I've had in experiments before. And this is in a spray container, which makes application easy. This has much better adhesion than the other stuff, and it can be removed with some solvent after the engraving so you can clean your bottles up after you're done. This is the completely wrong color because it's blue. If you can get it, uh, get it in uh, red for this laser stuff, but let's try it out if it works first anyway and see, yeah, see how our experiment turns out. So without further ado, let's get right in. So I've now completely covered the bottle. Here on the right is the layout dye. Here on the left is the tempura paint. I needed about five or six coats of the layer dye to get it to be completely opaque, but you can know it's now a mirror and it should work. The te tempura paint is a bit weird to apply because that's the only way you get an even coating and you also need to dry it with a, with a hair dryer. This one you need five or six coats, but it dries extremely quickly in open air, so it's really not that much of a problem. It takes about as long as doing this and then drying it with a hairdryer. But now they are done. This looks like a wet spot, but it's just because it's yeah, it's a bit thicker here, but I'm going to engrave right here, so it won't matter. It doesn't look like the paint is chipping off. That's good. And now we can go on to engraving. So here I am in the laser GFL software. I'm now going to import my file that I'm going to engrave here. Just do the usual stuff like trimming. Then I'm gonna set the filling quality a bit higher. I tested it at a, a lower rate at nine lines per millimeter and there were a few like tiny issues with it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, let's it it lets you calculate the actual value that it should set. And then just normal engraving. Go on to next. Then we want 100% power, as much power as possible, combined with a quite a high filling speed. I am at 1250 millimeters per minute, that worked out for me. Then set the size to your whatever you want. I'm doing it 3 centimeters tall and then we can create it and then we can fire the laser. And this is how the first engraving on the tempura paint turned out. Really, really nice. It has all the detail that it should have. It has some lines here going up and down because it did the filling this way. Maybe do it like try to do it the other way if you have shapes like this. But again, I think for a blue laser, this is a very nice result and not too much hassle to prepare it for the engraving. Now let's go onto the layout die and try and engrave this one. I 
And here is the second engraving done with the layout die. And it does look much worse. The coating was very thick, it was at least to the eye completely opaque, but it just didn't turn out very well. It has a lot more lines, if I tilt it to the side you can see them, and it's also not very uniform. If you look at it side by side, with the other side it's, it's really bad. This was the tempura paint. This looked much better. This one, yeah, not so much. So that was already it for this video and again I am semi happy with the results we got. The tempura paint engraving turned out great, there's like no issue with this. You can, I wouldn't use this if you let's say uh, engrave a customer's part or whatever where there is only one. That's not a very good idea probably but if you have bottles yourself I use this for like gifts to make some chili oil to gift away at Christmas and there's no issue with engraving these with whatever you want. If someone would like an engraving would be messed up just make another one. It's not that big of a deal. The um, layer die unfortunately didn't work. I was really hoping that it would because it's super easy to apply and you can get it online pretty easily but it just didn't. Uh, the engraving was very bad. I don't know if that's because it is a blue color or if it's red but, but I gave it so much colors that it was completely opaque and yeah I think just the behavior of the paint when it's heated up is the issue and in this case not the color. The only other option I could think of what to use is some nail polish However, it's also not easy to apply evenly. You can't get it in a spray container and it's pretty, even if you get like cheap stuff, if you need to apply such thick coats as with the tempura paint, it's still gonna be kind of expensive. I don't know if you can get nail polish in like big one liter bottles. So that's a bit of an issue. If you have an idea what you could use or if you had some experience with any other method to get uh, glass engraving to be possible on these blue diet lasers please leave a comment below and i would if you get some more suggestions or have ideas myself i will happily make another video where i'm going to test it out because i am still not 100 percent happy with this tempura paint because of the glass adhesion issues you never know when it will chip off during an engraving especially larger ones i did uh, like with the one under here i engraved my, i have a glass tabletop and i tried to engrave it and just in the middle of the engraving the paint started to chip, chip off i couldn't see it properly just afterwards when it shot right through however that was it for this video i hope you liked it and you learned something if you did, then consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel and then I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.